Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a picking and painting pumpkin twin sympathy three colour Halloween challenge. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you are aware, but Halloween is right around the corner and this year it might be a little bit different because of COVID. Normally on Halloween, we'd carve our pumpkins and put it outside on our porch. But this year, we're going to be trying to paint them and using them as room decor, so that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. And this year, we're really excited because we're actually going to be going to a farm to pick our pumpkins. And we're going to be taking you with us, so that's going to be very fun. Before we get started, we just want to say thank you so, so much to all of our subscribers. If you followed us ages ago or if you follow us recently, thank you so much. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be notified whenever we upload a new video, make sure to hit the notification bell. Okay, so let's go get started and pick the pumpkins we're going to be painting. Okay, so today is Saturday and we're in the car and we're just about to go and pick up our pumpkins. We're so excited because we've never actually been to a pumpkin patch before, but we've seen it online and all that, but we yeah. did have to like get tickets from there mm -hmm. this time. I don't know if that's because of COVID, but yeah. you know, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. The one we're going to was four pound each, and we also paid an extra pound to go and feed the animals. Because I wanted to feed them. <laughs> yeah, we really did. But we're, I don't, what animals are there? I feel like it's probably just farm animals, to be honest, like sheep, goats, and all that. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you when we get there. We're here now and there are loads and loads of pumpkins. Some of them are green. I know. Yeah, they're moldy. I'll try and show you some photos, but it's very, very cool and there aren't many people. <laughs> rounded shape and it has a really cool stalk. I found one, it's so heavy and so big, but I think this is the one I'm gonna get. So we're back in the studio now and we've got our pumpkins. Both Ruby and me picked out different ones. Mine is so, so big and heavy. It was an extra large. But we're back from the farm and they are all washed now. So they should be looking nice and shiny. And this is actually going to be a twin telepathy challenge. So sadly, we will not be able to see each other's pumpkins painted until the end of the video. Okay, so if you haven't seen one of these videos before, how this challenge is going to work is we'll have six different rounds. And for each round, our mum will give us a number of materials or themes or items, and we will be picking between those items and using them to decorate our pumpkins. If we get the same items for each round, we get a point, and if we don't, we get no points. But we've got to make sure our pumpkins look good regardless. Yeah, so <laughs> the pumpkins have to do pumpkin patch Perfect. Okay, so we've got the barrier up and we're gonna shut our eyes for round one. Our mum told us that this is going to be for the base colour of our pumpkin. The entire pumpkin. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, wow. okay. So we have white, like a baby light pink and uh -huh. a light sky blue, I guess you could say. Oh, okay, wait. This is actually hard because all these colours are so pretty. Yeah, I can imagine you picking all of them for different I can imagine you picking all of them as well. This could be down to a few things. One, if you're actually trying to do like a character. Two, if you're trying to do a design, if you want it to look halloween -y. So it could definitely go either way. For some of the reasons I just said, and I'm not going to progress any further, but I'm going to pick this one and you can kind of, Ruby, you can kind of guess what theme I want to go with and use that. So I think for all the reasons you just said, I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm going with this one, and I'm going with this one. 
Okay, so we've got our base color now, and we're now gonna paint our pumpkins in the base color before we go on to any other rounds. We're doing this base before picking the rest of the colors because we want the pumpkins to be dry so we can move on to doing the designs on them. Yes. So it's faster. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by painting that and I'm gonna start packing it on. <laughs> It feels cool. It's like, it's actually a lot smoother than I thought it would to go on. Do I do the stalk too? I have. I don't think I want to, I like the green effect. So, I'm actually nearly finished now. Are you like almost finished really? Uh, no. But mine was maybe three times the size of yours. So. But also, I forgot to say, um, I actually put paint on me, so that's why it's wet, because I had to get it off. What colour paint did you spill? I spilled blue paint. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've both finished painting the base coat now. They're still a tiny bit wet, so we can't pick them up. But this is mine, and this is mine. I'm really happy with how mine looks. I haven't seen yours, so I don't know what color it is. I'm hoping they're the same. Anyway, so we're gonna let these dry and move on to choosing our next colors for the design. Three, two, one. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. How we have many? three color paints in this one. We have an aqua blue, an orange, and a purple. I already know the one that I want. There is a specific colour that I want to take out first. I love this colour, but I think out of the three, it's the least one that's my favourite. So I'm going to take this one out. And between these two, and out of these two, I'm just going to pick my favourite colour between them. So I think this one, so I'm going to go with this colour. I really love it. I just assumed that Ruby eliminated this in the beginning, and I might be wrong. So now I have two. I think... Okay, yeah, I have a reason why she might not pick this one. So I'm just gonna pick this one. Okay, so this is the one I'm picking. And this is the one I'm picking. Okay, so on to the third round. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, <Ooh. I> like <laughs> we have the same reaction. <laughs> so we have a black, we have a metallic silver, I think. And then this is kind of like, it's a bit like the purple in the last round, except it's lilac. Okay, there's one that I really don't want. I'm just gonna eliminate it. <laughs> this is the one that you really don't want. I don't want this one. I don't just, want this one. I don't think it will go with what I've picked and I don't want it to be an option. So I want this one because I think these two colors will look good and I want this one because I also think they'll look be good. I actually want this one more, but that doesn't take into account what Ruby will want. I think that these two would look very nice together, but I think they're just so similar that it would go weird. So, I'm gonna go with this one because I think this is gonna look so cool and very Halloween-y. I heard the word similar, so I'm just gonna assume blindly that we've done really well. I'm gonna eliminate this one, and I've got this color. Okay, so I'm getting this one, and I'm getting this one. Okay, so we have three more rounds, and now we're gonna go on to round four. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, okay, so we have Posca pens. We have a white Posca pen, a black Posca pen, gold and silver ones. Hmm. I feel like right off the bat, I can eliminate two. Do you think you can? Well, I know the ones you can eliminate, but I didn't know if I want to eliminate them ones. Oh, so maybe I can't eliminate them. Well, I'm going to speak up and say I'm going to eliminate them. So I'm going to eliminate these two. I think you're eliminating these two. I actually know the one I want to pick now, so I think I'm just gonna pick it. I want to pick this one. I think it will look good, especially in the spirit of Halloween and autumn. I think between these two, you'd pick this one. So I'm going with this one, and I'm going with this one. On to round five. Three, two, one. <gasps> Cards. Oh, it's gonna be theme. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay, so we have pattern, abstract. abstract. Illustration. Ooh. Pattern is like um, things that repetitive, repetitive designs. 
And then abstract is, abstract is anything. I guess you could do paint splatters, you could do animal print, you could do, probably put a bit of patterns and illustration in. And then illustration is more detailed work. Yeah, it's more like objects. I have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. The first thing I'm going to be taking out is this. I can't say the word, I was about to say it. Because I feel like it's quite hard to do. Yes. And then between these two, I have an idea in my head of what I want to do and it fits the description more of this one. I don't know what you're picking, but I feel like for this round we need to focus on what we want to pick anyway. So I'm just going to take a wild guess really and hope that that's something you would have liked. I think you could like all of these. I think you're most unlikely to pick this one though. And so am I. But I do have a very good idea for this one. So I'm gonna pick this one. So I'm going with this one. And I'm going with this one. I don't know what the next round is gonna be. I'm thinking it's most likely either gonna be like glitter or stickers or something to do with the actual like painting process. And it'll be like tools. Oh. That was excited about the glitter. Three. <laughs> Two, one. Whoa, what's this? Wait, what, what, what's the thing in the kitchen roll? Maybe it's this price chocolate. Heavy. A potato. Oh my gosh, it is a potato! What? Oh, it's, it's gonna be potato stamps. Are we gonna stamp this up? Okay. The first is potato for potato stamping, and you can make all sorts with these. I've seen actually a lot of stuff. The second one is stencil. The third one is masking tape, and the fourth one is cotton wool buds tied together. So I guess you can make loads of like flowers and dots. I really want to use this one. I just feel like it will be really fun. So I do think what you were talking about was this. I'm guessing it kind of fit in all the explanation. But, I don't think this sort of pattern will fit with the design I'm thinking of doing. I think I'm gonna go with this because I have some good ideas of what to do with the pumpkin with this. I know this challenge is twin telepathy, but I really wanna try this one and I'm pretty certain we haven't got it right. Also, I think technically we should get a point because we know what it was. I know that I haven't got it right. True. So maybe half a point. This is what I'm picking. And this is what I'm picking. So we've got all of our materials in front of us ready to decorate our pumpkins. The things I've got are this. I've got this Posca pen, these two paint colors, and this design theme. And I have this Posca pen, this paint, this paint, and this. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare them for painting. So I've got something to do with this. And I have to use this. Oh, yeah, I think I know what you got. So I've now finished the thing I was doing. I can't just say what I was doing, but you can probably see now what the sort of thing I'm going to be doing. But I'm actually ready to paint now. Okay, so I'm now ready to paint my design and I'm gonna be using this color. And this is the first color I'm gonna use. So let's okay. get started. I'm excited. <laughs> Mine is going quite well. It's really fun to do, but it does need tidying up. This whole like design thing does not look good on its own, especially on a rigid surface. Ooh, okay. I've nearly finished my second color and it's Whoa. going on so nicely. I'm loving the way it looks. It looks so Halloween-y. That's impressive. I have not almost finished my first color. So I'm on to my last colour now. It might need a bit of touching up, but so far so good. It's actually same, it might need a bit of touching up like you said, but now I'm on to this colour. So 
So we finished painting our pumpkins now. Mine's looking really good. Same so is mine, but they might need a bit of touching up, at least for mine probably will. But we can't do the Posca pens until they're dry, so we're gonna finish off tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. So it's the next day and we're ready to finish painting our pumpkins. I'm really, really happy of how mine's looking right now. I obviously haven't seen yours. I'm really excited because all I have to do now is take this off, I cannot say what it is, because that will give it away, and do some final detailing with my Posca pen and things like that, and then it'll be finished. I've also got my Posca pen to do, and I'm really excited to add this because it's what's gonna bring the whole design together. So let's do the final details. <laughs> How is yours going? Because so far, my Posca pen is making mine look so like, much more like finished, you know? Mine's actually going really well, I agree. I have one thing though. I know I say it's every video, but please warn me before you move the table. I will. <laughs> We just finished and we put towels over our pumpkins so then we can't just see each other when we take the barrier down. Yes. But I'm so excited to show you guys and Rayleigh and to see what Rayleigh's looks like. Yeah, I'm really excited. After I added the Posca pen, it definitely brought the whole design to life. It all came Same. together. Let's take the barrier down. Okay, so our barrier's down now and we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. I win. Ugh. Okay, shut your eyes. Okay. We didn't? No. Did we do gold on the colours? We did decent on the colours. <laughs> Not great. It's amazing. I love it so much. Thank it you. looks so cool. I don't know how you did it that way. I was I'm so detailed. I really like it. I want it in my bedroom. You'll look in your bedroom. Okay. I'm going to show all of you now. Okay. Three, two, one. This is what my pumpkin looks like. I'm really, really proud of it. I think it's quite autumn-y. The black leaves, the purple flowers, and then I used the gold Posca pen to put detail everywhere. I really, really like how it's turned out. I think it's gonna go in my bedroom quite well. It looks so cool and so autumn-y, so. So now we're going on to my pumpkin, and I'm so excited. So really, close your eyes. I'm gonna show you and Ray together because once you take it off, it's not like a design, like you, it's all around it, the same thing. So, three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, we did good on the colours. I know we did really well. <gasps> Can I like. So, this is my pumpkin. That's I used so masking cool. tape to do this and I put dots on each of the triangles. So, I think it's really cute and very patterny and Halloween y because I got black and purple, which I think is quite like. And cool. white. Yeah, and white, so it kind of hey. looks really Halloween-y with them two colours. It's really, really cool. I'm yeah. going to put silver on the top and the oh. sides. Okay, so these are our final three colour painted pumpkins. I am so happy of how they turned out. Yours are so crazy good, and I'm proud of mine as well. Both of ours, I definitely think, turned out so well. Mm -hmm. And to think they went from, like, just orange pumpkins to this is so cool. Make sure to head over to the community page and comment which one's your favourite or if you like both of them the same. Rubies? Or Rayleigh's? Or both of us. We both usually carve our pumpkins. We decided we'd give painting a try and we would both recommend it so much. It was so fun and look at the outcome. Put it in bedrooms. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to Graceful Owl 17 Thank you so, so, so much for commenting on the community page under our posts and we really hope you're enjoying our videos. The second shout out goes to Lila King. Thank you so much for subscribing to us and for always supporting us. We can't end this video without thanking our notifications got end. And it's got we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really hope you enjoyed our video. We love you. Bye. <laughs>
he's like a snowman. Catch the pink. And I perfected. Ooh! I thought that on the spot as well. Okay. So <laughs>